Welcome to day 232 of our Let's Grow Annual Challenge. Sharon Hornelstrom here. And of course, we're continuing our focus on confidence growth this month. This month, every day, we're talking about a different confidence growth topic. We're going over the SOAP framework. At the end of the month, we'll go through the growing process for one area of confidence that you want to make sure you nail down and improve this year. So today, our topic is experience builds confidence or experiences build confidence, whichever way you want to say it means pretty much the same thing. And our challenge today is going to be to share one experience that we've had and how it impacted our confidence. Now you might say I had this experience and it actually had a negative impact on my confidence initially, but over time, as I look back and look for the lessons learned in that particular experience, I realized that it was actually one of the best things that ever happened to me because it sent my life and me in a different direction and I started making different choices. You know, maybe you got fired from a job, been there, done that. Maybe you were in a bad relationship, been there, done that. Maybe you had a tough boss or you had a, a bad relationship at work or you had a business that you ended up having to close down or let go. Think of the COVID pandemic, literally millions, millions of people experienced that during COVID. They had to let their business go because they were not able to operate it and they didn't have a, a plan or a way to change their current strategy in order to continue that business or the government totally shut them down, which in the case of millions of businesses, that was true. Uh, so that's going to be our action item today, but let's think about this topic for a minute. And I, as I was thinking about it, I realized that all experiences have an impact on our confidence, either positive or negative. And as I thought about it, it's actually the negative experiences that I've had, the ones that have made me have to be resilient, figure stuff out, move forward, get over something, forgive somebody, uh, deal with difficult life situations and challenges. Those are the ones that actually have initially seem like they've hurt my confidence, but they've actually made me stronger, more resilient, had to stretch my comfort zone, which helped me grow personally, which is sort of what this challenge and what our life is all about. It's about who are we becoming in the process of living our life and how are we experiencing our life? Our life is made up of the experiences and the relationships and most of the experiences that we have, right? It's how do we interact with other human beings? How do we interact with ourselves? How do we grow? Uh, that's pivotal to this year's challenge is what works for you in order to grow. And I, I hate to admit it, but the challenges I have, the setbacks, the roadblocks, the problems, the things I have to overcome that aren't easy for me, those are the areas and the experiences that maybe are the most painful, but I also grow the most from them. You know, I remember the first time I got fired. Yes, I have been fired more than once in my lifetime or let go or laid off, whatever you want to call it. It still feels like getting fired. Uh, I remember the first time I I felt really bad, like there was something wrong with me. And then I realized it you know, after a while of reflecting and going back over the situation, I realized that it was just that I was not the right fit for the organization I was a part of. I mean, I did a great job there. Uh had a lot of accomplishments, but overall for the long term, that was not where I belonged. And so me not leaving and them letting me go was actually one of the best things that happened initially for me in my career because it got me looking at different industries, going a different direction, being more open to possibilities, increased my skills and my training and my abilities, which I was always doing ever since uh, I was a little girl. I've loved learning and, and doing new things and figuring things out. And so uh, being a lifelong learner just has, it's been a given for me. I never thought of not having a time when I was learning and growing and adding to my skill base and skill set. Uh, so that's it. I'd love to know your experience with different experiences. Uh, are you like me? Have you learned the most from the things that are bad that happen in your life? You know, having to overcome health challenges, it, it was horrible at the time. But it's when I hit that pivotal point that I said, okay, I need to control what I can control and manage this because nobody's going to do it for me, that I learned a huge lesson that applies to every area and aspect of my life. Nobody is going to live my life for me, create my life for me, uh, overcome my challenges for me. It's up to me. And when I realized that it's up to me, it's my responsibility and I can control it, I can control what I can control, 
that gives me personal power. And by increasing my personal power, that gives me more confidence. So again, our action item today, share one experience and the impact that it had on your confidence and confidence growth. Uh, it, and pick anything, just pick any experience. Maybe you got divorced. Maybe you got married. Maybe you had a baby. Maybe you uh, had an illness or have an illness that you're working on overcoming. Uh, I will say having an illness or a, a health challenge is one of the things that will instantly stop us in our tracks and cause us to change, reflect on, and reset our priorities faster than just about anything. Unless someone significant to us dies. That does it too. But there's a few things in our life that happen that just immediately stop our life in motion and we reflect and we figure out and we reprioritize and we shift and we pivot and we do what we have to do to move our life in the direction that we want it to. All right, that's all I've got today. Any questions, hit me up. Otherwise, I'm excited to read your experiences. I'll share one in the comments below. I don't know what it'll be. I already talked about getting fired. That's, you know, kind of one of the worst things that we think happens to us, but uh, there are worse things. All right. Have an awesome day. I'll of course be with you tomorrow.